Hello friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can vectorize a bitmap image very fast and easy using your computer. There's two softwares that we're going to use and I'm going to show them as, uh, to compare them. And the first one is Adobe Illustrator. So as you can see, I have the, the England uh, logo here loaded uh, as a picture. And this is a picture I just downloaded from the internet. And I just opened it with Adobe Illustrator. So once you click on the image, you will have the live trace option available on the on the ribbon on the top. So what you could do is you can click here. Well, first of all, I'm going to move the image to the right so you can see. And uh, I'm going to click on live trace, drop down and then tracing options. Here is where you manage all the options to live trace your image. And if I click on preview, you get a preview of how it looks. Notice how the defaults distort the image a lot. And you can see that by the, you know, the fields here of the shield that are completely uneven. I also have lost a lot of details on the lion. If you see here, this, uh, these uh, symbols here that look like stars, uh, they have really uh, lost all this detail inside. They, and even the shape of it has been lost. So what you could do is try to adjust the settings. So for example, if you uh, click this, you know, you can get more uh, minimum area instead of 10, you, you reduce it and you see that now it, more details appear like the dot in the middle, still very far away from the real uh, uh, image that we uh, originally loaded. I have played a lot with the settings and uh, this is kind of the best you can get uh, with these uh, tools, uh, with these settings. Uh, so still not too bad, uh, better than nothing, uh, but not as good at, as it should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, a software that it really does a much, much better job than Illustrator to trace images. So I have opened up the software, it's called Magic Vector. Uh, it has been around for a long time and I have placed my bitmap image here and I'm going to drag and drop it into the software and it's loaded. This is the original one that you can zoom in and out with this uh, little toggle here. Now the cool thing about this is that it's also easier to use. Uh, you can go to full automatic a vectorization you just click on that first button and just wait for about 30 seconds and uh, it will do its magic now remember vector images are good um, you know if you need to create a logo or if you need to an image that is not going to get distorted when you zoom in so look just by using the wizard one click option i'm getting a much much better uh, result than with after uh, with uh, adobe illustrator i'm going to zoom so you can see that that star of that logo here it's you can get even the details inside it's not perfect but it's way way better than what uh, illustrator was doing also notice the tails the tails of the alliance are almost perfect okay compared to the original one uh, and you know when you have it done all you have to do is save it and you have different options you can use here so you can you do uh, have the option in vector magic to tweak uh, the vectorization process but it, just this one single click works pretty well. So when you're ready, you just click on next and then you can save it and you have all these different formats. The most used one, of course, is Adobe Illustrator and you can just save it and that appears in my desktop. And now what I can do is I can bring this logo into Adobe Illustrator to see how it looks and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So this is the final image done with the uh, um, vector magic and you can see that on the left and it's in color in comparison to the one made with light tracer in Adobe Illustrator that you can see on the right uh, the difference is, is very notable and uh, it's, it's really huge you can see that not only we have color on the vector image vectorization image but also the details are much more more accurate the lines and and the angles are, are better and sharper and as you can see also here on uh, um, you know the, the the lion, the lion tail, and the lion and the stars or flowers that you can see here. Uh, much more detail uh, using Vector Magic, and I highly, highly recommend it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and you, if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and support my channel. Thank you so much.